Travel is a great opportunity to see nature at its finest. These five destinations offer once in a lifetime chances to get close to wildlife in their natural habitat. If you like this video, the sheer variety of animals in the Galapagos is what separates a trip there from any other type of vacation. About 80% of its land birds, 97% of its reptiles and land mammals, 20% of its marine species, and 30% of its plants are only found in the Galapagos. This remote archipelago off the coast of Ecuador just might be the ultimate wildlife vacation destination. You don't need special photo equipment or giant zoom lenses to get close-up wildlife shots here. Because there are no natural predators in the Galapagos, the animals are unafraid of people and you'll often find yourself within a few yards of sea lions, giant tortoises, waved albatrosses, and iguanas. Look further on the island and you'll see blue-footed boobies plunging into the open ocean, frigate birds, massive whale sharks, flamingos, seals, and more. And history buffs should remember to keep an eye towards the trees to spot one of the famous finches that inspired the work of Charles Darwin. There are a few dozen hotels and inns in the Galapagos, but to see as many animals as possible, you'll want to hop on a boat. Vessels here carry no more than 100 passengers by law, and many are much smaller, creating an intimate experience. Popular operators include international expeditions, celebrity cruises, and metropolitan touring. Borneo. Covered in old growth rainforest and split among the nations of Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei, Borneo entices travelers with the chance to spot orangutans swinging from the trees or catch a glimpse of Asia's smallest elephant. Love monkeys? Don't miss a trip to Kinabatangan Wildlife Reserve, home to 10 different primate species including proboscis monkeys, orangutans, and multiple variants of macaques and langurs. And while you're there, keep an eye out for the elusive Malayan sun bear and its distinctive white or gold patch of chest fur. In the island of Borneo's Malaysian state of Sabah, tourism is heavily reliant on wildlife. The region is often referred to as the last wild frontier for its abundance of native species. But like many other developing states, Saba is experiencing environmental problems like trash pollution in the ocean, birds nest collecting, and deforestation. Now more than ever, travelers need to understand the environmental impact of their trips and how to practice social responsibility while abroad. Remember to travel with a responsible tour operator, visit national parks to support their infrastructure through land fees, support the local community by staying with a host family or booking your tours through multiple local tour operators, and finally, remembering to just be an environmentally conscious traveler. Being aware of your impact makes your vacation and the world better. Tanzania. No wildlife lover should pass up a chance to see Africa's legendary big five, lions, rhinos, elephants, leopards, and Cape buffalo. In Tanzania, you'll find them all, plus many more, including hippos, giraffes, and zebras. The country is most famous for the Great Migration, when millions of wildebeest move en masse from the Serengeti in Tanzania to the Maasai Mara in neighboring Kenya. June and July are the best months for viewing the migration in Tanzania. If you're planning a safari, you need to factor in weather, wildlife, and crowds. The long rains take place from late March to late May, and the short rains are from late October to mid-December. These are typically not popular tourist seasons. The dry season is July through October. With little vegetation to obscure your view of the animals, this is the high season for safaris. However, expect dust and cool temperatures at high altitudes. The summer months of December through February are also dry and great for game viewing, but be prepared for heat. May, June, and November are shoulder season months when crowds are minimal, but spring wildflowers, though pretty, may make spotting that leopard in the grass a bit more difficult. If you're looking to book your Tanzania safari, Bright African Safaris is one well-regarded local operator. Nomad Tanzania runs luxurious safari camps across the country, and Intrepid Travel offers a number of Tanzania packages, many that also include time in Kenya. Alaska. With bald eagles soaring overhead, humpback whales flashing their flukes in the water, and hungry bears stalking rivers in search of salmon, Alaska offers a feast of wildlife travel adventures. 
make sure to spot Alaska's version of the African Big Five. Moose, caribou, doll sheep, wolves, and grizzly bears. Many visitors come on cruise ships through the inside passage, where you can often see marine animals such as sea otters, stellar sea lions, harbor seals, and various types of whales. While traveling through Alaska, make sure to set aside time to explore and hike in Denali National Park. You can book a custom hike or opt for a five to six mile wilderness hike with epic Denali views. Shorter and more or less strenuous hikes are available as well, all of which offer a great overview of the Denali region. The Curry Ridge hike in particular gets you up above the tree line fairly quickly and exposes amazing views of the Alaska range. The hike takes around three hours and isn't too grueling. The guides are Adventure Green Alaska certified, adhere to the leave no trace principle, and take care not to disturb the wildlife. All the guides are extremely knowledgeable about the area and the wildlife and make the hikes a great learning experience. If spotting grizzlies is at the top of your to-do list for your Alaskan adventure, make sure to look into booking a bear viewing tour or For a less physically demanding way to experience the great Alaskan outdoors, stop by Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center near Anchorage, a sanctuary that takes in injured animals or those that can't live in the wild on their own, such as abandoned bear cubs. Here you'll be able to see bear, moose, bison, wolves, foxes, caribou, and other Alaskan wildlife. And finally, Antarctica. For many travelers, Antarctica is the wildlife trip of a lifetime. The climate is hostile and the journey to get there is long, but the rewards are many. Picture elephant and fur seals, humpback and orca whales, and thousands of penguins, all set against a backdrop of ice in every possible shade of white and blue. If you have the time and budget, consider booking a trip that includes a stop in South Georgia to see its massive penguin population, including king penguins, which are more difficult to find on the Antarctic Peninsula. See crab-eater seals sunbathing on large icebergs under the brilliant clear skies, unperturbed as you float by the Melchior Islands, or watch as Gentoo penguins hike up the snowy peaks of Danko Island through their self-carved penguin highways. Get some shopping. Yes, I said shopping on Antarctica. Done at Port Lockroy, a historic British base turned gift shop and home to a colony of thousands of Gentoo penguins. To get to Antarctica, you're going to have to hop on a guided cruise. Quark Expeditions specializes in polar journeys and even offers a fly-in option for travelers who want to skip the notoriously rough Drake Passage between South America and Antarctica. For luxury cabins and food, consider a cruise with Silver Sea. Thanks so much for watching! Remember to let us know down below what wildlife destination